Hi friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last week I uploaded a few videos highlighting some truly despicable comments made in Ireland's parliament by Richard Boyd Barrett, whom I called and I maintain is the most vigorous critic of Israel in Ireland. And as he has frequently compared Israel to the Nazis and denies Israel's right to exist, I'm happy to further add that I believe him to be a flat out anti-Semite. I included plenty of excerpts of Boyd Barrett ranting and raving about Israel, accusing it of every misdeed under the sun, from being an apartheid state to practicing what he calls ongoing ethnic cleansing and to being a terrorist state. However, in attempting to highlight some of the extremist rhetoric against Israel emanating from Ireland, I also failed to share the full picture of how those debates in Parliament transpired. My goal with today's video is to share the rest of that exchange between Boyd Barrett and Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar and other members of his party. Those of you who watched that video might recall that after ranting a bit about Israel, Boyd Barrett was asked by Varadkar to affirm, at a minimum, Israel's right to exist as a free country. Um, I believe Israel has the right to exist. Uh, Israel was established by the United Nations, um, was established in accordance with international law, um, and Israel has the right to exist. I hope you'll agree, and I hope you'll say that uh, in your follow-up response. And as any, any sovereign state has the right to defend itself when it's under attack. And I can understand why Israel needs to take action to root out terrorists and people who fire rockets at civilians into Israel. Israel is absolutely within its rights to defend itself and to go after Hamas. That does not extend to cutting off electricity to civilian populations. It does not extend to cutting off water. It does not extend uh, to preventing uh, food uh, from entering um, the Gaza Strip. Uh, and we're very clear on that uh, in terms of the position of the Irish government. Um, basic principles of human rights must apply uh, and they apply to Israel too. Um, but Deputy, I, I, am, I am, and I know your support for Palestine is sincere, but I, I am a little bit disappointed that you haven't said anything about Hamas or Hezbollah or any of their actions uh, in your remarks. In fairness to Deputy MacDonald, she did, as a Dep Deputy Batchik, and I would like to give you this opportunity to add to what you said earlier, not to take any of it back, but just to add to what you said earlier by saying that you accept that Israel has the right to exist, um, that has a right to uh, sovereignty and statehood and security and that you agree that the actions of Hamas and Hezbollah for decades uh, targeting Israeli civilians, kidnapping Israelis and others, that those actions are wrong, have contributed to the conflict and have made it harder to find a solution. I want to see an end to all killing, all violence, all death and the release of all prisoners and hostages. Uh, but, you see, the problem, the problem here is that I do not believe, I do not believe that an apartheid regime has the right to exist anywhere. I do not believe that a regime that engages in ongoing, daily, weekly, monthly, ethnic cleansing of another group of people based on their race or ethnicity, which is what Israel is doing, has the right to perpetrate those crimes. Note that he's being careful here not to explicitly say that Israel has no right to exist in those exact words. Instead, he's doing so circuitously by saying that Israel is an apartheid state and that no apartheid states in the world have a right to exist. So while the remarks were slightly oblique, it's also not too hard for anybody to ascertain from this that he believes that Israel doesn't have a right to exist. Now here's the part of the debate that I didn't show. Please. for the European Union and the United States to yeah, stop arming that regime yeah. to commit war crimes and crimes against humanity. Of course Please, you won't. Deputy. Of course you won't. Thanks, Deputy. I, 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 I am disappointed in your remarks. Uh, you, you, you mentioned UN resolutions. Israel was established by UN resolution. You didn't say that. Uh, Israel is a sovereign state. Um, it is the closest thing to a democracy in that region. It has a right to exist. Uh, it has a right to defend itself. And, and, and you, may, you may describe it as... Please, the Taoiseach without, as, the Taoiseach without interruption, please. And, and you may well describe it as an apartheid state, but let me ask, let, 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 let me ask you this. Um, you and I could live our lives freely in Israel. Me, as 
a gay man, you as revolutionary socialists, neither of us would be able to live our lives freely uh, in Gaza. We wouldn't because of the oppression that would be imposed on people like you and me. While I believe it's vital for extremist rhetoric not to go unchallenged and unhighlighted, I equally believe that those of us who support Israel must take a moment to thank those who criticize such rhetoric, on the record and for posterity. While Vradker's condemnation of this anti-Semitic rant was appreciated, it was also, I think, somewhat mild in tone. Boyd Barrett's hate speech isn't disappointing, it's unacceptable, and it really shouldn't be tolerated. Until next time.